What's going on guys? This is the Wobble Fett, and I'm back with another mechanics video for you today. This one about the unique properties of Z Destiny Bond. In addition to the Destiny Bond's usual effect of KOing a Pokemon after the Destiny Bond user is KO'd, Z Destiny Bond adds a follow me effect, redirecting all of the opponent's attacks to the user. As you can see here, despite targeting Smeargle with Zen Headbutt, the attack was redirected to Gengar. Broke Stupid Lonely, a friend of mine, asked me to check to see if the Follow Me effect extended past the initial turn of use, just like Destiny Bond's KO effect does. So to test this, I'll just protect Metagross this turn, and attack Smeargle with Bullet Punch next turn, to see if it gets redirected or not. and Bullet Punch does connect with Smeargle, so the Follow Me mechanic does not get carried over between turns. I do not have this shown here in this video, but the KOing effect of Z Destiny Bond does still carry over like normal, and you can see it in the battle video I've linked in the description. Last, just to be thorough, I want to demonstrate what happens if you use Z Destiny Bond and Follow Me on the same turn, to see if Follow Me takes precedence over Z Destiny Bond for whatever reason. So I'll target my Zen Headbutt at Decidueye, and target my Metagross with Leaf Blade, so we'll get to more accurately see where the moves end up landing. So it seems like Z Destiny Bond does still redirect attacks, which makes sense, because it's what would happen if you had multiple Pokémon use Follow Me or Rage Powder. 